Hey everyone, hey and welcome back to uh, yet another episode of Battle Rap Resume. This is your host Tom Quee. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we have uh, a really exciting preview. You know, this is a card that uh, myself and Nathan Jones broke down as fans, but now we have two people on the, on the inside, two people really happy to have on the show. Uh, Briggsy and Sam, uh, what's up guys? Yo, what's good man? Yo. Yeah, something back nice. We'll <laughs> no, I've Briggsy especially, of course man, it's great to have you on and obviously ev- everyone knows Briggsy, but Sam, I mean, it's fair to say people wouldn't be as aware of you, but you know, you, you do have a vital role, right? Yeah, um, I just kind of do well, with, especially with Revival as well. Um, I've been filming like the past three or four now. I think this will be my fourth one now. Um, so yeah, I've, I've only I've only recently become on Viewpoint as well. So people, you know, like I say, people don't really know about me. Yeah, I, did, I, did, I honestly didn't realize you'd film much. I thought you were just doing sort of the, the design and the website and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I literally started filming first. Really, Briggsy kind of brought me in, and then um, I was I was I was shooting photos first, and then I filmed my first one. I think the first one was five, and then I did uh, kind of six on my own. So that's crazy, man. You're kind of like the up north Bagnall. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Exactly, exactly, yeah. <laughs> That'd be nice. Some yeah. sort of form. And uh, uh, Briggsy, you know, obviously you battled extensively, continued to battle. Had you ever wanted to run a division in, in the Blam days? Were you secretly thinking, ah, oh, Chronicle? Uh, yeah. yeah, well, I ran Lab, I ran, uh, lab Battles with Shotty. Right. Um, so I did one Don't Flop battle with Els. And then uh, I kind of got offered the chance to do my own league with Shotty which we got quite a bit of investment for so I've had experience doing it um, but yeah I just kind of battled for Don't Flop for a while uh, we always spoke about it for some weird reason even when Chronicle was there we was talking about potentially coming on board and doing something um, but it just kind of never came to fruition then I went to Australia came back and then her offered me the chance to do Manchester vs London mm-hmm. that's, that's like the first event I had a, a hand in managing oh right then, uh, that was there. actually my first event as well. It was the first event that I ever went to. Yeah, that was that at uh, the Ritz. That was just crazy. Yeah, it was just yeah. sold out completely. It's crazy. Amazing. Yeah, that the, the crowd in that event is like when they're chanting Tally's slogan and shit like that. It's great. Awesome. Yeah, it was a mad event, especially when you walked out on stage and it was like a thousand people. <laughs> it was weird. It was crazy. <laughs> you bodied Bamalan Briggs. You Briggs went in as well on Bam. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. brutal. Like, you know. Probably the battle been all right. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and Briggs, you but know, that, yeah, it's good, man. It's good. I enjoy the stuff that more. Yeah, so yeah. Wrong. Yeah, no, I was just saying, like, you know, Don't Flop have been, you know, really killing the last six months of the year. You know, end of 2016, he's turning out absolutely a revelation as a fan. You know, it's great stuff going down. And, like, just kind of in line with Next in Line, it feels like Revival 7 is just keeping the pace. Well, that's what I tried to do. Um, obviously, people always see it as me trying to keep up with Next in Line, but mm. a lot of Revival was already planned before right. Next in Line. Um a couple of the battles from Revival 7 ended up on the birthday mm-hmm. um, so obviously things were already in motion before Next In Line happened anyway but it's just perfectly fitting that Next In Line happened first and was so successful uh, and then when we dropped the birthday card and the Revival card it just kept the momentum up so we're always he's always healthy competition trying to throw the best card yeah um, so it, it's, it's a good thing Danny's doing a good thing with training days as well so mm-hmm. it's, it, it gives me a bit more leeway not in a in a negative sense, but it gives me more leeway to work with more top tiers and main card battlers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Whereas the other revivals I've had, because I've been building the Manchester scene, I've had to kind of, um, you know, put on tryouts, put on the, the up and comers when I could have really gone and put on like, you know, your shuffles, your Marlows, your shockses. Um, but it was all about building the brand. Now Danny's got training days. That kind of comes away from me, and I can do what I want with the cards now. Mm-hmm. And and you say you say do what you want. Like you know, as the Northern president, I mean, does Ur have a say? I mean, is he still? Does he have to put the don't flop brand on it, or is it just kind of your whole thing? No, nah, you know what? Every I try and do it. I do everything with everyone, really. Um, one thing I will say is don't flop pretty much give me the freedom to do what I want to do. Right. Um, so, for example, the Revival 7 card, I just threw the card. Every battle that I set up, I just go to don't flop like the rest of the staff and just say, yo, I'm setting this up. Is it cool? I don't I don't think they've said no to any battle that I've, I've ever put to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's absolutely, you know, insane, insane card that we'll soon get into. But, um, you know, Sam, yourself, it must have been crazy filming all these events, seeing Revival grow. I mean, it's becoming like a top tier event. 
Yeah, I kind of, um, like, like I said, I used to be just a fan of, of my, I think my first battle was, um, first battle that I watched was like, old shavy sensor and right. like, it's like seven years ago or something like that um, but yeah it's been good man obviously Briggsy kind of helped me out brought me in um, and yeah it, I mean Revival 5 was a great event um, that was a, that was one of the really good ones mm. Revival 6 was was kind of um, there's a few tryouts on that um, uh, but yeah 7 should be crazy man yeah, be absolutely crazy. yeah, yeah, no, totally. And uh, we'll, we'll go through quickly uh, just all, all the battles here and such. Uh, as I said, me and Nathan have kind of analysed the matches. But I guess from you guys, Briggs, I just kind of more interested in what, what your thinking was, you know, how these got set up, etc. And uh, yeah. Peace, Peace Soldiers Spit Semi, that, that's a really interesting one to kick it off. Yeah, uh, Peace Soldiers Spit Semi, that's just a reschedule. Uh, oh. It was meant to happen in Brighton and Peace Soldiers yeah. didn't get down there. Um, so we just got you know peace all just anyway to get the battle out of the way Spit Semis wanted to do it as well um, but it's pretty much one of the very first battles that was arranged on the event mm-hmm. uh, so it's just kind of a reschedule thing but it's good to see Spit Semis back as well he's, I don't think he's been on don't flop yet has he I don't, maybe I don't think he has no 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 but obviously he's kind of a WRC veteran right yeah, it's good, see, it's good to see the WRC guys trying to get back involved see how they mm-hmm. to it. I'm, I'm quite interested to see how he does Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's complete. And obviously, Peace Soldier on any stage, let alone a kind of revival Northern stage, is always a killer, Sam, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the last one was with, uh, I think it was with Matt, I want it. Mm. Um, who was that one against now? Uh, that was Cal- Revival 5. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that was crazy. Calcium Kid's crazy as well. But yeah, Peace Soldier, it's the Manchester crowd kind of like him. Mm. Um, he's, got, he's got a good following down there as well, so it should be good, man. And, and to that one. yeah, yeah, and, and Briggsy, if you're being honest, JB Danny Jack, who wins that? <laughs> <laughs> I got um, JB. Yeah, yeah, JB killed Danny Jack. Danny Jack, shit. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I like Danny. <laughs> now you know what? Um, obviously, I think most people looking at, especially with the way JB's sort of risen from like nowhere in the past six mm. months. Yeah. Um, but I, I always write. This sounds horrible, this, but I always write Danny Jack off and right. I always seem to enjoy his battles. <laughs> yeah. Like, I thought last battle, stop, Danny I thought, Jack's last battle was good. Yeah. Bro, I, I thought he was going to get... I'll be honest, I said this to Danny. I said, I thought he was going to get killed off Peace Soldier. He didn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought Raws probably would have given him a roasting, but I, I, I'm not even... I don't even know he won that battle. I've watched it two or three times and each time I've gone, oh, nah, Raws took that or oh, Danny's mm-hmm. took it. So... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Danny does something with this one. I think he's got him. Yeah. Yeah, he has to, definitely. Yeah. 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 No, no entirely. Yeah. And great to see uh, JB, as you say, has just blossomed. Seems from that dank battle onwards just just you know grown and grown in power like it's crazy and um frankie fraser crisis uh is is a really interesting one briggsy uh on on paper yeah this one kind of was a bit left field when we said up originally it was um we had crisis versus jay short so ah. um jay short unfortunately after a couple of days couldn't make the event mm. um so i was just looking through the roster and i thought the best person i can kind of i wanted to put him against someone who's gonna test his writing ability mm-hmm. um, and you know there's not many people in the league better than Frankie Fraser to do that sure. um, me and Frankie have been talking about getting him in Manchester for a while as well so it's good that he's you know he's agreed to do I think Crisis is a potential up and coming next year as well I think we'll see a lot of Crisis and mm. um, you know he's battled who's he battled uh, Uno Lavos which was a bit of a shambles um, mm-hmm. but you know, you know, it's kind of the comedy side of it. I want to see how good Crisis' pen is now. Let's see if you can keep up with the writers as well. Yeah, yeah. People yeah. are looking forward to. It. I think when we dropped the um, when we dropped the battles and stuff, there was there was a lot of talk between the you know the Frankie and the Crisis battle as well. I think people are looking forward to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's that's definitely a sleeper. And uh, when I was at um, the eighth birthday pre party the Friday, I spoke to Frankie and um, he spat some of his material, his ideas for this. And the, yeah, the guy's not slacking. Seriously, awesome, awesome <laughs> stuff. Uh, you know he seems very excited for the battle as well he said that he wrote very quickly um, and some, something 
Sam, you just kind of do a battle like this, and it, you, you kind of know it's going to be great. You don't even have to see it. Uh, Pedro J. Dillon. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. I was actually looking at that today because I, um, I'd, I'd not looked at the because we was doing, you know so heavily AEW. I'd right. not looked at the card in ages. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, this, that's going to be hilarious. <laughs> It's, it's going to be absolutely up. Jay Dillon's like kind of it's a, it's a perfect matchup really for Jay yeah. Dillon at this time as well because he's uh, he's kind of showed up at the past few uh, revivals as well so it's, yeah, it's going to be hilarious <laughs> It's going to be hilarious. Pedro's too funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This 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 one's brilliant. I mean, Briggsy, someone like Jay Dillon, you know, needs needs to come back with a good performance against someone like Pedro. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Jay Dillon's done. I think this is his third revival now. Right. Uh, the fans always like him in Manchester. Yeah. Like he's 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 different. Originally, we tried setting up Jay Dillon versus Ogmios, mm. um, but Ogmios couldn't make it. I just wanted to put two. The way I look at matchups, I don't try and pick the obvious opponent. I try and make it something different. Mm-hmm. Um, so when I looked at Jay Dillon and Ogmios, I thought they they both got their very own unique style. Um, and it could be in like an underlying classic but then when Ogmios couldn't make it I thought the next best thing is Pedro yeah. uh, Pedro was going to be on the card anyway but it's just ideal these two wanted to battle each other so I think this will be I, I, I can see this being one of them battles where people say it's battle of the event if they both come all they usually do yeah yeah, yeah. Both <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I, I was in. We was at. We stayed with Pedro, didn't we? Briggs in uh, on the Saturday, and he was up to like, like. Well, we was up to about four or five a.m. But he was just like, he was just constant spitting bars. <laughs> like he came up with. He came up with that umbro line as well. Fully himself, like the umbro sign. Right. Yeah. Like, while while he was in there, the guy's just crazy. It's too much. <laughs> Yeah, well, a legend, man. yeah, of course, of course. And he, this this card is just crazy. Like you know, coming coming up next, Matter versus Press One Briggs. It's nice, like you're dipping back to the nostalgia. These, these are two vets. Yeah, these are two of my favourites. I'm beat. Um, mm. I'm a big fan of Press One. Uh, you know, you're not even battling like music wise. I'm a big yeah. fan of Press One. Um, when I booked him for Revival Five against. Uh, J Madden killed. Yeah. Um, I, I liked Press One's music, but I didn't see much of him as a battler, so I wasn't, you know, I wasn't expecting anything outstanding. Um, and when he turned up and he annihilated fucking J Madden, I was like, yeah, I need to book this guy again. Mm. Um, and he was saying he wanted a challenge, and I think Matter on Beat is perfect for for uh, Press One. Yeah. Both got a similar sort of boom bap styles, but I don't think they're going to be just over boom bap. I know they're not doing any grime. Uh, I've seen a couple of fans saying they hope they don't do a grime round. Um, I think it's all like I think they've got two boom bap beats and then like a you know, like a heavy hip hop beat. Someone like a Simon Says, Pharrell Marshall. Right. I won't give the beats away, but the, no, no. the beats it's are perfect. Oh, good. See that being a back and forth act, you can't pick a winner on that one. No, 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 no. That is, uh, yeah, that is too, too hard to call. I mean, Sam, if I force your hand, could you pick a winner? Um, I think Matter just, uh, yeah, probably Matter. Mm. Um, just because he kind of, it'll be hilarious as well. He's, he's funny as anything as well. It? But like, like Briggsy said, I think the press ones. I think was it was it the press release that he released? Yeah, recently? yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it was it was crazy. Um, so yeah, it should be. It should just be good to sit back and enjoy that one. I think. Yeah, yeah, That'd be yeah. Nice. And and yeah, and I, I echo what what Briggs and yourself are saying. So I'm definitely download the press release uh, by Press One. Awesome, awesome, awesome fucking uh, music coming coming from that guy. And uh, check out the Press One Battle Royale resume episode as well. That's a slept on early classic. Thank you again, Press, to being on the show. We didn't even know what it was. That's that's, that's huge, man. But I mean, the revival card is is so good. Um, Briggs the, a, a battle normally like O'Shea Bobby Rex would headline but here it's the fourth one yeah Bobby Rex Bobby Rex and O'Shea um, came out of nowhere really the original battle was actually Bobby Rex and Dan Schrader for this event oh okay uh, so they ended up moving that over to the birthday obviously mm-hmm. um, and I said to Bobby you know I want I, I want you on this car this is going to be my biggest one Bobby tried out at Revival 1 yeah um, so he's been with me pretty much through seven events now so I said you know I need Bobby Rex on this card um, with the natural progression of things I think it's I think the only person I could put him against next was O'Shea mm-hmm. 
Um, you know, Olsh- I know all is one of Bobby Rex's favorite battles as well. And uh, when we've had conversations, he's always said, you know, one of the best things we want to do out of this stuff is battle all Shay. Um, O'Shea became available so I asked him if he'd be interested uh, O'Shea was originally on the card against someone else um, you know, I won't go into details who it was but they, the other person backed out so he came available I put it to him and he said he'd love to battle Bobby Rex so I, I think this is a perfect battle for both of them you know, O'Shea is a legend Bobby Rex for me best new career of the year oh yeah um, he could do I think this will put Bobby on a path of being really really taken serious going into next year Yes. It's a perfect time for, for Bobby to get this as well. But after you know, after the dank battle as well and where he is now, I think it's just a perfect time for him to for him to battle Osh. Mm. Cool. Mm. But it's like his reward without it being a reward. You know, he, yeah. he wanted to battle Osh and now he's got him, even though he, he won that's new coming as well. Mm-hmm. And, and Briggs you said earlier you know picking matchups you like to go left field slightly and something like E Farrell Tox is one of those ones that just oh it's just fantastically absurd. Yeah, it's this was another a different one originally I had um, Tox versus Jay Short on this and it got moved oh, to Sunday yeah, yeah. this is how long I've been planning this event yeah. um, so Tox versus Jay Short was originally on this card um, but uh, like the sound of that so he, put, he asked if he could have it for Sunburn and uh, when we when we done Sunburn when me and her sat down and went through the card a lot of battlers weren't available so it made sense to put a card of that, uh, you know a battle of that calibre on that card um, which I'm glad we did now uh, and we couldn't really get talked a birthday battle uh, we struggled finding an opponent for him mm. um, and then E4L came available he wanted to do the birthday but he I think he broke his arm or his shoulder or something Right. Um, he had some operation and he wasn't available until now uh, so it was just kind of putting two and two together but I think E4L works better against more of a you know a street gun bar yeah. and everyone you see like he's his build collector battle is incredible. Dot battle, yeah. Yeah, I think I think it brings the best out of Eva Rell. I need to see the best of Tox, so I thought it worked perfectly. Yeah, that's that's right actually because Eve E Farrell's last couple of battles, Mad Flex, um, you know, Reverse Live, aren't those sort of archetypes, and he hasn't quite been as good really. So I think putting him against Tox and Tox as well, half the Gemini Clash, you know, it's great that he's getting international. Yeah, cool. Uh, Tox is. Tox is the best battler that doesn't battle he does like what two battles a year and he's done checkpoint uh, he's done some, both sunburns he's done Manchester versus London and he's only had like five battles to his name so I, I don't know how he does it to be honest <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know man, I think Manchester's in a position where we've got quite a good few battlers coming through the ranks now and ideally I want Tox to be one of the faces for next year mm-hmm uh, so you know it's a Manchester revival event I thought one of the, the things I can do is give it to a Manchester battle who I feel deserves it as well mm, mm, mm. yeah yeah completely and uh, Sam tops I mean you know really exciting to have him on revival right yeah it's crazy obviously it's the mean king in it so <laughs> he's not even he's not even trolled um, E for L even that even that bad that I, I thought he would do I think it was pretty bad at the start but um, but yeah like like Briggsy was saying with his, with his bill collector battle that, that's the first one that I'd seen from him as well um, and I think if he kind of transfers that kind of style over to that um, it should go down well on day man yeah yeah no definitely his daylight battle as well is excellent um, you know he's got he's got, he's got lots of lots and lots of battles out there and uh, I've actually I, this reminded me I've agreed with both of them on Facebook to do like a little face off between them on the show I think that would be great um, yeah, so uh, I definitely need to chase that down before the uh, 17th um, but uh, an, another battle brings me that you know has been relocated some of the battles got taken off this event this battle got taken off 8th birthday but plunked here thankfully uh, dialect versus Lou Cypher yeah, I'm so happy this got moved over. And um, we, I've been trying to personally book new cipher all year. Mm. Uh, but every time I've gone to booking, he's either been booked for Dope Flop or he's uh, he's been booked to King of the Dot. I know he's done. Has he done one or two bunker battles this year? Yeah. Uh, so he's been quite hard to get. Um, we tried bringing him over. We brought Johnny Storm and my birth over as well, mm. um, but he wasn't available. So he, you know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a shit thing it fell apart on the birthday but it's a blessing for me yeah because uh, it got moved over I had a word with dialect at the birthday and he you know I just said I want to try and make that happen because um, I did originally ask dialect to battle on the who was dialect going to battle now um, 
I can't think of Tommy earlier. I had dialect to battle, but it's his missus his birthday the same day. Ah. So we turned it down, saying, you know, obviously it's his girlfriend's birthday. Yeah. Um, but when I bumped into himself and Tory at ABW, I just kind of uh, worked the salesman pitch and got the battle. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I can't wait for that battle. Like, Lou Cypher, personally, is one of my favourites at the minute. Um, but I think he gets a little bit of slept on at Dolph. He got massively slept on against Shocks. Mm. When you watch yeah, his performance with Fire, um, and Dialect, you know, Dialect's a veteran. It's good to see Dialect back on a cappella as well. Yep. He, he had a good battle with Math Offer, and it was only like three days prep. Yeah, I need to I need to check that one out. But yeah, I mean another another insane battle. Really, really happy this is going down. And I mean to top it off, Sam, this is one of the battles. I mean, headlining the card. So excited to uh, to see this one. Uh, Soul versus Double L. This is one of those battles. It's just so hard to call, isn't it? Yeah, it took people people kind of was pretty surprised when when we dropped that as well. Obviously, we could, yeah. we, could we couldn't wait to drop it. Um, I think I ended up dropping that on viewpoint first as well. Um, but yeah, uh, it's souls. Uh, I mean, Double L's not been on. Don't flop much either. Um, but every time, obviously, every time he's on there, he's, he's you know he's doing numbers as well. Um, I, I, yeah, it's just going to be crazily good. Um, I don't even know who's going to even take that. Mm. Do not have a clue. I'm just happy that I'm getting three rounds out of them both, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, obviously, the birthday was crazy as well, but it's just good to hear three rounds of Soul and three rounds of Double L. Yeah, man. But I mean, Soul, I mean, I saw the Quill performance recently. Astonishingly good. If he's yeah, taking that sort of form, and I haven't seen the Danger Zone chiller thing, but apparently he was just as good. If that sort of form's going into the Double L clash, then I, I don't know if Double L can win, to be honest, he, no matter how good he is. Yeah, he's, 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 he is really good, though. If you, like, yeah. I, I oh, no, really of course he is. Yeah. yeah, I really rate him. Um, I would, I would, I've been watching a few of his battles recently as well, like kind of getting ready and stuff. But um, people, there's a lot of people who, who think Double L could possibly win as well, as, you know, as there is um, people thinking that Saul's got it completely. Um, but yeah, it could be an upset, really. Mm. You, never, you, you do never know. It just depends how double L comes. You know, he's not he's not battled in a while as well, so yeah, it, yeah. And Soul's kind of fresh off a lot of big performances and stuff, so it should, you know it depends on that really. Yeah, and and Briggsy, I mean, is this to you a worthy headliner? Because I mean, what a battle! Yeah, this is fucking incredible. I got, when this came about, there was two offers that I had. It was um, Soul and Double L, and Soul and Quill. Mm. I wanted Soul and Quill. I'll be honest, but. Um, when we spoke about it, we decided that it'd be better at the birthday. Um, but obviously, so I've been trying to get Double L to battle for I don't know, about a year and a half. Um, but he's, he's so busy, he just doesn't have time to battle that much. But I think this will be one of Soul's toughest battles, mate. Mm. I think people, you know, people are, you know, they'll say Soul is ridiculously good and uh, he's top five in the world for me in a minute. Um, oh, yeah. But at the same time, sometimes battling comes down to winning in the room. And when a guy like Soul who has bars pulls against someone and he's just going to clown that, he, you can lose in the room. I've mm. seen it done many times as well. It's, me and Soul sat and spoke about it after the birthday because obviously when me and Soul battled fucking three years ago, yeah. I did the same thing. I, I said this to Soul, like, I didn't, I knew a million percent I was not going to outright Soul, like no one outright Soul. Mm. So my tactic was win in the room get the crowd on your side so I just said a load of bullshit funny stuff and the crowd won a, a fuck it, I think I won the ball 4-1 yeah. like when you watch your back there's no way I won it but brings it to your soul <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the real champion yeah <laughs> me and Sleepy G <laughs> but now I think I think um, you know soul, soul is absolutely incredible like I say he is probably my favourite in the league at the minute He's a gent as well as a gent, so. Yeah, he's, 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 you know, he knows he's battling inside out more than anyone I speak to. Um, but I, th I think Double L will be a big test for him, eh? I think if Double L can take the piss enough out of Soul yeah. to where whatever Soul says loses its impact, he could win. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and, and, and just to clarify, is this for the title or not, or...? No, 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 the title's going to be defended at checkpoint next year. Right, right, yeah, okay, okay. 
uh yeah no incredible card and um it's saturday the 17th of december is that right where is it yeah saturday 17th is that venue nightclub in town um if you're familiar with manchester city center mm. it's just behind red um red street barbecue which is literally smack in the city center Mm-hmm. Just um, Deansgate, isn't it? Yeah, just off Deansgate. The, the, the venue is insane. That's awesome, man. I mean, what what have you, have you, has there been a revival there before? I'm sorry, I, I don't realise there's been. Or? No, there's not no. been. No, we've kind of kept it at Zombie Shack, which is like a small little um, 200 capacity thing. Yeah, uh, we don't want it. Uh, sound Control, which was Revival Five, the big two on two event. Um, but I thought I'd take it somewhere different, and one of my friends actually owns this nightclub. Mm. Uh, they've just bought it so I went down and had a look at it and it, the way it's laid out I mean the nightclub's like 600 capacity but we're only selling 250 tickets because of the way it's laid out right um, it essentially has a pit built into the the place yeah so the way the nightclub is it has like a, it's like a raised pit but it's essentially the dance floor in the nightclub but it's all surrounded by like big fucking rolling pillars yeah I'm, I'm just looking at it now actually it, it looks like a really cool venue uh, I can see what you mean with the pit format as well kind of a little bit similar to the Sheffield kind of place yeah yeah a little bit similar to that um, it's a lot cheaper than that <laughs> Uh, we get we get a lot of fans. I I like using sound control, but we had a lot of fans complaining about the the price of the beer. Yeah. Um, so that's one thing with this event as well. I've, they're going to do a lot of drink deals with us, like one pound shots and stuff like that. So uh, they're not going to do food uh, as well. They do food. Yeah, they're going to do food. Um, they're, they're sorting us out for this event, so it should be a good one just before Christmas if everyone wants a, a night out. Mm-hmm. And uh, how do they get tickets, Briggs? Uh, www.dontflop.com forward slash tickets there's not that many left I'll be totally honest right um, two for 20 quid at a minute obviously they'll be gone by the time this comes out mm-hmm. um, but the early birds are 12.50 at the minute uh, yeah 12.50 at the minute then I've got 15 pounds and 20 quid on the door awesome awesome man yeah it's an, it's an incredible uh, incredible card it's going to be a pay-per-view yeah, be a pair of you. All right, excellent. excellent. Yeah, I've got, I mean, yeah, there's too many good battles for the dot to be. That would be up raw, man. It's, uh, yeah, it's a crazy card. And, ju- and just before we wrap up, um, as someone who, you know, uh, grew up in Birmingham, I, I've always wanted there to be more dome flop in the Midlands. And there's going to be, right, next year, early on? Yeah. Um, we're looking start of the year. So, I de- there's nothing concrete yet. Ideally, we're looking end of February, early March. Right. Um, this has been in planning for God about six months now mm. um, we've, we've changed quite a bit around with Dove Flock because obviously at the start of the year a lot of fans lost a bit of interest um, you know people saying the cards are weak but when you look at some of the cards we had at the start of the year there was you know there was B-Fighter 2 there was uh, Sheffield there was some quite big mm. events but just didn't seem to have the effect so we sat down and decided going into next year we want at least half of the year planned by December right um, so that's probably why you've noticed me and Danny Jack winding each other up on viewpoint because we've been trying to set this little rivalry thing up but it's, it's worked out perfectly that next in line done so well and then revival came out so people thought it was a an immediate rivalry between training days and revival mm. um, so we just kind of worked off that it, we was going to announce it a while ago um until King of the Dot announced Gully versus Organic right and then we didn't want to come across like we were trying to bite the event but essentially this is North vs South 3 there's been two other events before this um, so we're going to do a big eight battle main day which will be like um, Scoop and Tox has already been confirmed mm. um, big battle uh, these, huge these battle there's a major major headline I can't announce yet yeah yeah no there's well there's if if they get locked in there'll be two absolute classic of a headline um, then the, we're going to do a second day which is going to be mainly tryouts with a couple you know a couple, one, like one or two headliners yeah. and one or two normal names um, but we're looking at Nottingham or Birmingham which is not decided which one yet right right can I can I just say Birmingham please do Birmingham from a purely we'll biased point of view the only thing we're thinking Nottingham as well though is North versus South 2 was Nottingham right but Birmingham do go down well we don't block so yeah 
Yeah, just some, and like I, don't, I obviously you know venues way better, but Digbeth, I've been to a few battle events there. They've got quite a, you know a few good places actually. Plug, I don't know if you guys have ever looked into there, but that's quite a good venue. Well, is that the same venue as um, Wally Sheffield, the same brand? Uh, potentially, yeah. I'm not really sure actually, but. Um, um, yeah, yeah, look into that because there's a few there in Dig before. I'm sure if you do a bit of yeah, asking around on viewpoint and stuff, people can advise you to good venues. But um, but, um Ryan Morgan at um, North East South as well. Me and Ryan Morgan are going out. What are you going to be like? What rap battling or? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Will that be? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I just wanted to mention that he was whack. Oh. Yeah just for the record but nah um, but yeah that, that's another fun thing that was happening as well right? <laughs> we, we were still going at it on, on a viewpoint as well and like obviously Danny and I, I was in work the other day and Danny and Briggsy were like back and forth right, with, like with dropping and then Briggsy was sending me uh, this video of like a hijack Danny Jack blog and stuff and I was in work and I was just like what the hell is going on so I think, I think this, this, this next one might even be bigger than like you know Revival yeah, uh, seven. So it's going to be crazy. Man. Yeah, yeah, man. That is uh, that is so exciting. I reiterate, please, please take you to Birmingham. But uh, again, that is just a battle rap resume. Uh, trying to change, <laughs> trying to change nice. hands of fate. But uh, guys, I guess finally, um, uh, Sam, we'll start with you. How do people, you know, social media, your, your portfolio? How do people find your stuff, man? Yeah, I'm on uh, behind uh, forward slash Sam Strickland. Uh, the Twitter is S Strix, um, and yeah, Facebook Sam Strickland as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And and Briggs, I mean, obviously a lot of people follow you already, but how do they get at you, man? Uh, Twitter's Bison Briggs um, Facebook's the same everything's just Bison Briggs at the minute to yeah, be honest yeah, yeah. Um, but just just put Briggs on YouTube not not sounding like a big anybody but just put Briggs on YouTube <laughs> yeah yeah Briggs, 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 Briggs. Scroll, when you do it though scroll down four or five battles to find a good one <laughs> <laughs> uh, Briggs I have to get you on soon man to just do a whole episode I know we've been meaning to do it but I need to you need to do it soon yeah give us a shout whenever mate I'm about yeah yeah alright uh, but guys cheers it's been great I can't wait for this event it, it looks crazy appreciate it mate appreciate you getting us on